Hi Taurus, thank you for being here with me you guys. I'm so sorry I missed you last night. I ended up having to get a little procedure done, but I'm fine again. Um, I've got cards shuffled and ready to go here. I just wanted to shuffle a little bit with you guys. So we can pick up on each other's energy here. Get a very accurate reading. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What is important for Taurus to need to know? Uh, Taurus, really? Your very first card is the sun. The happiest card in the tarot deck is the sun. This is Leo energy. The sun is coming into your life. If it's not here yet, it's coming in, Taurus. And it's like you're actually facing... The rest of this reading, you're looking inward at the reading here. The next card you have is the Five of Swords. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards, but I'm feeling like with this Five of Swords, you are in an energy here where you're seeing very clearly with the sun a need to stand up for you for once it's your time all right and if other people don't like it they can walk away because you're standing up for you and then you have the knight of swords you're ready to get up and get going on something that you want in your life and then you have the hangman pisces energy looking at the the bigger picture. If you're not doing this, do it because the sun is going to shine around all of the people in your life that really matter to you. The people that walk away here, they don't really need to be there in your energy and I feel like you're starting to see that. You're taking a look at the bigger picture with the hangman energy about um, something in your life that I feel like you've been in a self-sacrificing energy. A higher level of commitment, Taurus energy, the Hierophant in the center of your reading. You want a higher level of commitment and you deserve a higher level of commitment. And your angels, your guides are on your side. You have temperance. And this is peace. I see you finding peace with doing this. You know, with focusing on you and your circle. The next card you've got is a tower. So there's something here that you're not expecting. Which we're going to go back and clarify that is sitting in the future energy. You have the Two of Cups. Someone coming into your life. And the Seven of Wands. There could be someone coming into your life here. Um, that maybe other people don't approve of. I don't know. I'm going to um, clarify though. On the bottom of the deck you've got a Capricorn energy. The Devil. And you have the Eight of Wands. And you have Judgment. There very well could be a past energy showing up here with Judgment. But we'll see. Why is the sun here? You're feeling very... Um very much as to if you stick with the devil energy something that is a comfort zone or something that you feel comfortable with or someone you're kind of wondering here what's what's going to happen next if i stay here if i continue to do this if i continue to stay in a position of self-sacrificing myself why is the sun here 
judgment again wants to show up here you making a judgment call about something in your life Taurus why is judgment here you making a major life decision here to bring the sun in the happiness in and the wheel of fortune is turning turning in your favor here Yep, Knight of Wands. Someone, um, someone here's got someone returning for sure. This may not be for everyone, but I'm gonna find out about this Knight of Wands energy that's coming back around. Why is the Knight of Wands here, spirits? The Ace of Wands. They want a new passionate beginning. This is someone that's very attracted to you. A very a lot of sexual energy bet between the two of you um the next card you have is the five of swords why is the five of swords here let's see what's next the knight of swords why is the five of swords here justice libra energy this could be you saying, I see you for who and what you are. And this could be one of the people that are walking away. Because I'm seeing you standing up for yourself here. The Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. You have strength, Leo energy. Yeah, it kind of looks like there's someone here that you went through a very tough time with in your life. And um, I'm seeing you seeing the truth of the matter here and maybe letting someone that, or some people or someone um, just walk away and... and Pulling out the tougher side of you. Saying what needs to be said. Holding the dragon by the mouth or whatever that is. Crocodile. And then you have the two of swords and closing off emotionally. Then you have the knight of swords. Why is the knight of swords here, spirits? You have the Page of Cups. Is this the same? Is this the same? The Magician. And the Nine of Wands. I see you here closing off to this energy. And this could be past energy for some of you. This top row. For some of you it's not. But um, I would be careful with the energy showing up here that's wanting to come back in. You could have put a block on this person, but they want to come back here, but they're coming back as a magician. So they're coming back. There's magician and devil energy with this person, which means they're trying to look a certain way portray themselves a certain way when they return like this page of cups a messenger with a smile on their face but you know and i know that this person is wearing a mask you'll be able to see that and when you refuse this person or because they're blocked this person feels like the wounded warrior they feel hurt why is taurus blocking me and this energy right here it's like they haven't quite given up yet the next card you have is the hangman this is someone that you quite literally could have made a lot of sacrifices for self sacrifices but I don't see you taking a move towards this person because it's a deceiving energy. On the bottom of the deck 
is the seven of swords someone who lies cheats steals it's a deceptive energy that with the magician and the devil why is the hangman here death scorpio and energy and ending okay that's why things ended between the two of you because of the, the sacrifices that you made. And you, the, re, the other side of this devil energy, the mask coming off. See, this is... I don't even know why they're showing up in your energy here, Taurus, other than... I feel like um, there may be a need for you to know this person does want to come back and um, they're receiving some type of karma. They could have, um, you know, grown cold with the Four of Cups in your relationship. And the Three of Wands is like standing out waiting for something new. And then you have the Hierophant. You want a higher level of commitment. And this is the divine. This is the divine is on your side. They want you to have a higher level of commitment. They don't want the devil to, to leave you stuck. Why is the Hierophant here? The lovers. You will have a choice. This love connection. It's. It's hard to resist. Seven of Cups. Options. Choices. And Six of Wands. Over someone here that wants you to recognize them. They could want you to recognize them online with the Six of Wands. This could be someone who has a platform or something. The next card you have is Temperance. Sagittarius Energy. Why is temperance here? Yeah. Okay, so... Whoever this is, I'm seeing you finding peace with temperance, with what is, and seeing the truth. This person is going to be sulking. Um, and all in their emotions here they this person carries some type of heavy burden with them with the ten of wands where they could be they're literally broke financially broke or something devastated them there's an ending taking place and so you don't want whoever this is who's someone who's looking at options and choosing you and then you have the tower something that you're not expecting in the future why is the tower here the three of coins the queen of cups there's different energy here and the five of cups that um, this person's, the, this devil energy is going to have to face. And that is that you have true love in your life now. And it almost brings this person to their knees. They feel sadness. Because you've got true love here with this Queen of Cups. This is someone that's worth investing in you know like the two of you building a st stable foundation together actually building something that will know that will stand the test of time and here that here the two of you are this is someone new why is the two of cups here the two of wands The two of you met up at a crossroads in your life. The Empress, you were both at a crossroads in your life, or this is someone coming into your life. Um, 
where the two of you can work together, can be together, and help each other move into a bright green future. This is your forever person. This person values who you are as the empress, male or female. And it's like you were both meant to meet 